What came to me today is that there's only one law in the kingdom of heaven, and that's the law of love. And, and if you put that in a sentence form, you could say, what you extend, you are. That's how creation works. God is love. Love extends. What you extend, you are. You extend love, you are love. That's the only law. It's kind of nice to know that there's only one law in the kingdom. And because that helps us, in our mind, orient to come back to that. Because that's as simple as it gets. What you extend, you are. That's just a state of beingness. There's no sense of possessing anything, controlling anything, figuring anything out. There's no problem solving involved in that. Just, ah, just relaxing. Ah, what I extend is what I am. Like Popeye, I am what I am, and that's all that I am. Just, just imagine a Popeye song going on forever and ever. I am that I am, and that's all that I am. And it's a very happy rhythm. And it's a nice rhythm to it. It's beyond the words, but it's very, very happy and joyful. And then that law of the kingdom gets translated to what we'll call earth life, or the world, is what I extend or project, I make real for myself. So, in heaven there's only extension, extending, it's just ever extending, but because there's projection, um, what I extend or project, I make real. And so you can see it's important to take note of whether you're extending love um, in this world, or whether you're projecting. And I think I can give you a definition of projection. Freud, you know, it's a defense mechanism, but Jesus describes projection as the attempt to get rid of something that you do not want. And how you do that is you seem to see it acted out or seem to see it somewhere else, not you. So if it's a person, someone other than you, or if it's something in the world, even an animal behavior or anything, it's something that's in the world, that's not you. And of course, projection, you know, that's the source of blame and all kinds of things. Like the Bible, they talked about scapegoating. Some of you know the ori original meaning of the word scapegoat came from, you know, the high priest of the, of the town, high priest of the synagogue would basically periodically, maybe seasonally, gather all the people together and take the sins from the people and put all the sins onto the head of a goat and then chase the goat out of town. It was a primitive kind of way of cleansing and purifying sins. Put, put all the sins of the people on the head of the goat and then chase the goat out. It's just, again, it has the projection dynamic, like trying to get rid of something. But Jesus also says that when you project, even though you're trying to get rid of something you don't want, that's actually how you keep it. You keep it by projecting it. And you make it real in your awareness by projecting it. So anytime you're perceiving somebody doing something to you, something in the world, it can even be with your own body if you perceive there's it's having an interaction with the world or something's being done to it or a sickness, a symptom, and you feel bad because of it or whatever, then it's still this idea that there's something outside of you. Um, when I say outside, I'm talking about the whole screen of the world. I'm not talking about just other people. The body is part of the screen, too. So sometimes when someone doesn't project it into other people and other people's behaviors, they'll project it onto their own body. And uh, you might say, well, that's, that doesn't seem outside. But at one point, Jesus says, uh, <coughs> the body is outside you but it seems to surround you, shutting you off from others.